Hey, this just came in. Yeah. Have a look. They want you to be on the women's council or something. So I've been offered sebagai seorang ahli majlis penasihat dan perunding wanita. I'm guessing in English, if you translate it, it's the National Women's Advisory and Consultative oh. Council, I suppose. So what do you have to do? Eh? I'm not sure. It says here that it's a new majlis, it's a new council. They've looked into my pengalaman, my experience and my contribution to the country. Wow. So you think you want to accept it? You know, first and foremost, I'm actually very honoured to be um, appointed. But at the same time, I can't help but think, honestly, I've got this like fleeting, slight doubt in my mind. Is this just another gimmick? Is this just another photo opportunity? Is it just another council shown across media saying that, okay, the Women, Family and Community Development is doing something. They've got this special council. But I guess I'm an optimistic. So I like to think that my appointment is based on, you know, she's doing some good somewhere. It comes quite at a time when I am in um, a bit of a roadblock uh, because I'm in the midst of helping unwed pregnant mothers. And one of the major issues that I seem to be facing, the problems, is finance. A lot of them don't have the resources or the logistics and I've helped them get in touch with the relevant bodies or authorities who I know can assist them but at the end of the day it boils down to discrimination and stigma. They're afraid and I can't get access to these people. I've got people as far as Pahang, Johor, Sabah. I can only counsel them from where I am and there's only so much money that I can take out from my own pocket to help them and at the end of the day they need to be helped too and and, and how will I know if it's genuine, if it's a genuine case. I don't know how far it's true, I don't have concrete evidence but apparently there are people who dissuade these unwed mothers to give up their children even though they, they have plans to keep the child and they are assuming that the mother does not want the child and then they say you know I can take your child because I've got a couple who wants to adopt the child and to me that seems like a little bit dodgy and illegal because that's where human trafficking takes place so I don't have the concrete evidence I don't have the means nor the resources so it gets me very frustrated because it's something that I started out upon reading um, all these news reports about mothers just dumping their children, right? These babies. And then it got to me and I, I made a pledge on my social media pages that if you have this problem, please come and help. I mean, please come and seek help from me and I'm more than willing to help in my own capacity. And I didn't realize just how many people were in need of this. And they, they came to me with so much trust. I can't break that trust and, and it frustrates me a bit when I can't assist them. So when this, this appointment came along, I, I was thinking how can I use this as a platform that I can vocalize my concerns and to reach out to bigger parties to help me in my mission to assist these unwed pregnant mothers. But you know, uh, there's already a naysayer. There's a woman here named Datuk Jainab mm -hmm. from Sabah who thinks you're not Sabahan enough for the job. What do you think of that? Well, I guess she's entitled to what her opinions are. But according to this, uh, what we've received, it's, it's not as if I'm being selected or appointed to represent Sabah per se. However, I would very much like to use this opportunity to be able to talk to her perhaps and her ministry. Is it a minister? She's a minister? I don't know who she she's, is. Yeah, to talk to her and her ministry or her group or her NGO or whatever it is to understand what are their concerns and to bring it up. She's just being very petty. La. I mean, I know, someone I... should, should support each other. Well, I... I think I think we can work together. I think, you yeah. know, I'm sure there's a way. Jaina was saying that you don't represent Sabah. You're, oh, she said you're not Sabah oh. enough for the job. So, one, one of the arguments is... Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're Sabahan or not. I mean, uh, oh, we do not know okay. what the job entails. Okay. 
So, but I can understand. I can understand her concerns about you know a, a Sabahan who's not physically in Sabah, and I think yeah, how would you know what is happening locally because you're not at the grassroots level, you know. If I wanted to choose a leader, you know, let's say I wanted a leader here in PJ, I want him or her to be in PJ most of the time. Susah lah kalau if he is he or she is always in Singapore or in Thailand, it's going to be hard to reach. But then again, there is also technology where you know you're able to contact the person via email and telephone. About me being less Sabahan just because I live over here, itu tidak betul lah. Bis. Saya masih lagi orang Sabah kan uh, Dalam hati saya, kalau boleh saya mau balik juga Sabah Tinggal sana, contribute lagi banyak di sana Tapi malang sekali The job requirements that I have Are based here And it just only makes logistics sense For me to get what I can here And God willing, insyaAllah I'll be able to retire back home I mean, that's that's my dream Plan, retirement plan with the family My husband Datuk Jaina saying that, that there should be a Sabahan from Sabah who's staying in Sabah mm -hmm. on the council is important to her. What do you think? I think if the council does allow more women from Sabah or Sarawak or for whatever state to, you know, to champion the issues of their respective location or in this case state, why not? If we can get more people. But for every state, women representative want their own people on the council mm -hmm. or every kampo for mm -hmm. that matter. It would be a very big council, would it be effective? It's really too early for me to say anything and I just hope that I am able to contribute and to use this platform to help the women in Malaysia in general. <laughs>